Alrighty, folks, welcome. Today we are talking Suleiman and Shah Abbas, or Suleiman and Shah Abbas Belwert. Name the group of people that conquered Constantinople. Name the leader of the group that conquered Constantinople. Both of those are in your notes from yesterday. Uh, name of Constantinople was changed from or changed to Istanbul. Constantinople, it was Istanbul and Constantinople. Man, I, dude, I should have been a singer. Gosh, why am I here? I could have been a great singer. Anyway, Hagia Sophia was the large church built under Justinian's rule when Constantinople was conquered. Conquered that church was changed into a hint on that one. Uh, it's a place of Muslim worship. So, moving on, they'll work. What do you think is meant by the term of Golden Age? Suleiman, Suleiman ruled during uh, Ottoman Empire's Golden Age. So, probably something to do with, it was a great time. What a time to be alive. Okay, if we think of the Golden Age of rap music, I'm thinking back in the 1990s. I'm thinking Tupac, Biggie. Okay, I'm not thinking of the times today. This is definitely not rap. Rap's golden age. Suleiman was in charge during Ottoman Empire's golden age. So, today we'll learn about two rulers, Suleiman and Shah Abbas. Both of them ruled during their empire's golden age. Uh, not a ton of notes today, but there are some. Suleiman the Magnificent. All right, this will show up on your notes page, so don't worry about writing it yet. Suleiman ruled the Ottoman Empire during their golden age. It was about 60 years after Mehmed. All right, how to remember this? Suleiman ruled the Ottoman, okay? Ruled during the golden age. Think Super Suleiman ruled the Ottomans. So again, this is uh, modern day Turkey, Istanbul, which was Constantinople, some of you uh, got stuck on number four yesterday on the bell work. If we look here, what continent is this? Up here to the uh, north of the page, northwest kind of. All right, I don't think you can see my red dot. All right, that is Europe. And then right below it, we have Africa. And then over here, we have Asia. All three continents are coming together, are very close. So this is why this area is so important, especially back then you have the Mediterranean Sea, the Red Sea, to where people can trade uh, different things. And being in control of this area could mean that you could make a lot of money off trade. All right, so that was Suleiman. Now we are focused on Shah Abbas, titled as Shah Abbas and Cultural Blending. All right, you will uh, have an assignment uh, over this, most likely. Uh, Persians ruled the area, Safavids conquered the area known as Persia. So Shah Abbas's empire was known as the Safavid Empire. Now, when we hear the word Shah, all right, we think back to Aladdin. Um, I don't know if you all grew up with Aladdin, that's sad. That just means king. So Persians ruled the area, area, the area. Safavids conquered the area known as Persia, which is modern day, modern day Iran, you can see over here, all right, blue square. So moving forward, Shah Abbas ruled the Safavid Empire in Persia, present-day Iran, during its golden age. Remembered for spending lots of money to bring different cultures from China and Europe into his empire. This is called cultural blending. So let's, let's branch out here. Let's not just do things that this culture does, that our culture does. Let's bring many different cultures into our empire. Still influences Iranian culture by artistic designs of the carpets, as well as rebuilding the capital city, Esfahan. Okay, so all of this here is inspired when you're talking about the architecture and uh, different designs of buildings, um, the patterns on carpet, patterns on the buildings, all of this was uh, sponsored, or thought up by Shah Abbas, all right? So uh, you can go to Iran or some other Middle Eastern countries today and the artistic designs of the carpets and the buildings were from that, okay? So just more examples of that here. Carpets, I almost started singing Magic Carpet right from Aladdin, but I didn't want to torture you all too much. All right, so 
we're not going to do the writing assignment, but if we did look at Shah Abbas's policies on cultural bleeding, or cultural blending, cultural bleeding would be bad, his policies of cultural blending to a golden age, discuss the carpets, how the help blending empire uh, helped his empire trade with European countries. Okay, if you're more open to certain people's culture, they're going to be more likely to do business with you. So, uh, if we talk about discuss how the cultural blend help empire produce and sell more carpets, all right? If you're willing to trade with someone else, or if you're willing to say, "Hey, we're different, but let's still do, let's still make this deal, let's still kind of help each other out," or uh, you make money off of me, I scratch your back, you scratch mine, that type of thing, people are willing to work with you. All right. So for the rest of class, we are. Um, you may have an exit ticket there, not sure yet, but you are now moving on. We just finished the Middle East, so we talked about the spread of Islam, Muslim contributions, Mehmed, Suleiman, Suleiman, and Shah Abbas. Now we are moving on to Africa. All right, we'll spend a couple of days in Africa, and then we will go to China uh, right before your benchmark. So. For the rest of class today, I will put Africa vocab up in the play posit. I'll probably put it on the screen also. So you should be copying this down as soon as you get done with this play posit. So this one wasn't very long. We've had a couple notes, but uh, make sure that you are working on this. Make sure we're staying quiet and uh, you should be good. And after looking at some of the play posits and we have ICU time or um, you know, study hall when you could be in the fun zone or going outside. That, make sure we're getting that stuff taken care of so you don't have to come to the workrooms, all right?